Welcome to Uncle Deke's RC Adventures. Remember, I'm the party animal and safety is my first priority. Hey, Uncle Deke here. I've had lots of requests to show how you laminate foam. Now there are lots of places on the tube where you can learn how to do it. But I'm going to show you just, I'm just going to laminate this part of the horizontal stabilizer. I'll do the top and the bottom. And what I'm going to use is some 1.7. They call this the good stuff, the new stuff, the new stuff I think they call it, from Aloft Hobbies. Okay, you get a bunch. I ordered, I didn't know how much I was getting, and I got a lot. But uh, very economical. Now, this is the 1.3, and it's very thin. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut, rough cut, with a little bit extra all the way around. Okay, I marked it. The heavier stuff, you can zip your scissors through it. But it, it will tear a little bit, so cut it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start here. Now somebody asked me, do you need, you need spray adhesive? No. There is a difference. See if you can see the difference. See how one side is, is hazy looking and the other side is shiny? That, this side, the hazy side, has the adhesive on it. Okay, so we're going to start just like this, and I'm going to butt that up against there because I would use a scrap piece to do this in here. And I'm going to overlap it a little bit, and I've got my monocoat iron, which is, this is an oldie goldie. I've got it set all the way on high. Hot. Don't touch it. Okay, I'm just going to stick it like that. And I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work my way to the end. I'm going to pull it a little bit like this. And you might have a few wrinkles in it to start with, but it shrinks a little. Okay, then work your way to this way. Now you can burn through it, this thin stuff. Don't stop. Keep it moving all the time. As long as you're moving all the time, you can see it. And we're going to go down over the edge like that. Now this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge of my iron and I'm going to stick it down in here because this is going to help be a hinge. This is actually going to make you a better hinge. And you can actually make hinge out of it. Okay. Now I work this like this. And notice one piece, no relief cut yet. And I'm just looking at how it's sticking. Now this, the 1.7 is not as durable as the heavier is, but if you can see here, it is sticking to every one of those little foam dots. I mean to tell you, it sticks down in there. Okay. Now, here's the trick to it. Anytime you're covering anything, you're going to have to make some relief cuts. So I'm going to cut this about like this. And I'm going to cut it all the way around. And I'll probably overlap it more on one side than I will the other. And this would be easier to do before you build it too, by the way. 
Okay. Okay. I'll just work my way around. He gets going, it zip through it. Now I'm gonna make a whole bunch of relief cuts. You won't see them because when you push them down they're gonna overlap a little bit on each one of them. And I cut it right up to the edge and I'm gonna put a whole bunch in here. And especially one here in this corner. The more you can put in, the better off you are. Doesn't hurt a thing, you're not cutting anything but the laminate, and when it gets stuck down, it's going to be a second skin. Okay, somebody says, how do you skin foam? Well, this is, we're putting a new skin on it. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing here now, is I'm going to hold up some, and I'm going to start here. And then I start working it, one relief cut at a time, like this. Okay, like this, get your edge all the way, work your way around, see if I'm dexterous enough here to do the other side with my left hand, okay. Okay, I'm going to work my way around like this. Now, pardon me while I move, relocate this. Now, let's start back over here in this corner. And I'm going to take my relief cut and I'm going to fold it over. Like this. And you may want to make sure it doesn't get doubled like this. Now you could maybe overlap it a little bit less than this, but for demonstration purposes. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm working one at a time, because when you go around the corner it's going to start overlapping here. And we also want to make sure that that goes has flex to it. Okay. We're going to run this around like this and I'm just folding it over. Like this. And bring this one over. Run that around. Okay. Now I'll tell you what we're going to do next. We're going to sit this on here and yeah, here we go. We're going to put that on there like that and we're going to stick that on and I'm going to make sure that that gets down in there real good. The 1.7 is real good about getting down in the tight places. Okay. Okay. Like this, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just trim this one off. You can overlap it again if you want to. For the sake of demonstration.
I'm going to trim this one off. I would overlap it a, another half inch, but you don't have to. It just makes the edges smoother, stronger, stiffer. But I'm going to show you how simple this is. I'm just going to trim this off as close as I can because we're going to go back in here and double check it. And we're going to. Now the laminate sticks really good. It sticks good to the, the foam, but it sticks even better to itself. And it can be a patch. Let's see, you uh, have a misfortune of. Um, landing a little too hard or getting in a tree or something you can fix it with this now I'm just looking as I go to see I'm staying on it pretty good but I'm looking to see how it sticks to the little dimples in the foam And it sucks right down over it like this. Now you don't have to put it in the hinge if you don't want to. But I like it. I use it as a, on a wing. I'll build it with a little tiny gap in it and use it as the hinge. Okay virtually no wrinkles anywhere we're going to look at this now okay what we're going to do now is just double check you can always go over it I'll see how my edge is here This wing has kind of molded in ribs in it, so you can take the nose of your iron and get down in those. I noticed it didn't stick to some of them, but now you can go back and double check it. And there you go. Now I don't know, let, let's let uh, Lana videographer zoom in there real close and kind of look around but I think you'll see that it's smooth as all get out there's a little place right there I like it and where you can dig your fingernail into the foam over here and make a mark this just bounces off of it I like it how to skin a foam wing Pretty cool, huh? You like it? Yes. Hmm. What does Uncle Deke like to do? Fly, fly, fly. Let's go do it. See y'all later.